back when I was in eighth grade, um, my grandfather had just passed away a few months prior. And, you know, he was like one of my best friends and all that stuff. And uh, so I, I lived with, I was, I lived in the basement of my parents' house. I had my own room in the basement. And um, I had this futon in my room because it was, it used to be an old living room. And so I, I turned it into my bedroom. I had this futon in my room and I went in there after school one day and was taking a nap. Well, I also had this fold up chair and it was like one of these wooden fold up chairs that you had to literally pick this thing up and use some force to move it around. It was pretty hefty. And, um, I was laying there taking a nap one day after school and nobody was home at the time. My parents, um, my dad was at work and my mom had to run to the store. So she left me there. She said, I'll be right back. And I'm laying there on my futon, taking a nap. And I hear somebody walking upstairs. Nobody's supposed to be home at this point. <laughs> and I hear somebody walking upstairs. So I go out and yell. I say, you know, mom, dad, is that you? Nobody's answering. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I go back into my room, lay back down on the futon. And out of the corner of my eye, I see my chair moving, my big wooden chair that, you know, takes a lot of force to move. And it's sitting there just rocking. And I'm like, what's happening? And then next thing I know, boom, folds and falls to the ground. And the only thing I can say is I feel like it was my granddad trying to tell me something. Because what had happened a few days later was that <laughs> pretty much my aunt, <laughs> she, uh, she, we found out she was having a heart attack. And I don't know if he was kind of like warning me that something was going to happen soon, but it was kind of like, it was very, it was very bone chilling experience there too. And I was only in eighth grade at the time. So it, that one stuck with me for a long time. <laughs>